There's a sense of solitude when you fly a small plane to Las Vegas. The view of Death Valley pretty much sums up the kind of terrain you pass over. It's three to four hours in my Cessna from the Bay Area to Las Vegas, depending on the wind. On this trip, I have a nice tailwind, and since things are quiet at the military bases at Edwards and China Lake, air traffic control allows me to cut through the restricted airspace, shaving off almost an hour from the journey. Snow covers the Spring Mountains just west of Vegas, and we begin our descent into North Las Vegas Airport. It's sunny and clear, but the temperature is barely 40 degrees when we land. We check into one of the newest and hippest mega resorts in Las Vegas, Aria. We want them to have the Vegas experience and enjoy themselves while they're here too. He's talking about the four-legged guests. Yes, dogs are not only welcome at many Las Vegas hotels now, they're given the royal treatment. A little bit. I mean, the dogs get a treat and the <laughs> guests don't get a treat when they check in. So there is a little bit of a difference there. Right. We found a stout, bossy lady in a tutu named Bailey turning heads as she sashayed through the casino. <laughs> Bailey was shaking what her mama gave her. Hashtag, if you got it, flaunt it. Everybody uh, travels with their dogs. Um, you said big and small. Um, Hollywood um, sports um, enter uh, entertainers um, travel with them and they can stay here at Aria. They can stay at any of our properties down the strip um, and be comfortable here. Follow the paw prints to the spot. It's the mini park where dogs can take care of business. There are other parks nearby for hiking and other outdoor adventures, including the mountains at Red Rock we had flown over a short time earlier. Inside, you'll find rooms with a view, including some great looks over the Las Vegas Strip and nearby McCarran Airport. If you're lucky, you'll catch a full moon and a passing jet. When it's time to step out and do the Vegas party thing, the hotel will make sure your pet is safe. Uh, a concierge will actually go up to the room, check in on the dog, take a picture of the dog and text it to you and let you know that the dog's okay and everything else like that. There are limits on where you can take pets such as Bailey. You can't take your dog on the casino floor or in most of the restaurants. You can buy a gift box filled with treats and toys to keep your fur baby content for a while. And for longer absences, you can arrange to have someone take your dog for a walk. It's a new age in dog-friendly adventures, and the hip hotels are catering to clients who want to bring every member of their family on their Vegas adventures. They want to come here, they want to have a good time while they're in Vegas, and they want to have fun with their dogs too. Viva 